Hey guys, today I want to talk about our setup for our self-filming with our camera arms, camera, and our uh, saddle hunting. So what I use is the fourth arrow stiff arm, and it has the Talon um, camera arm holder. And I really like that. Uh, easy to use. This is the Canon EOS RP camera that I use with a shotgun mic and uh, it's a mirrorless camera. I really like that. We use the Hawk Helium saddle and uh, I used this last year, was able to uh, harvest a nice eight point buck out of the uh, saddle and uh, we'll be using it more again this year. So uh, we just got it set up on the ground for today just to demonstrate what we're using for our self filming, how we set it up in the stand with a saddle. So once you have your platform set up and you step onto that platform, go ahead and grab your bridge and hook it to your rope ascender. As soon as you get in, send that up. Make sure you get good and safely hooked in there. So what I like to do for our camera setup is, this is for when I'm self-filming now, is I'll take and I will strap on this uh, talon clip to the tree about hip height. And that gives me a good, good range of where that camera arm is gonna set in there. And it's real nice and easy to, to set up. So I'll just demonstrate here how it comes in and out. So just take, just screw that out. This comes just right up out of there. Now that I have my camera on there, it's a little heavier, but just pull that out of there. You can set that thing right down in there and you can level that up real good. Just tighten that. The reason why I like to have it right about that height is so that when you're in your saddle, that arm will swing all the way back and forth around you. So I can get all the way around the tree, if I'm videoing here, all the way around. So the main idea with this is, is that I'm facing a trail coming here. And I want this arm to be able to swing underneath here and around or however it may be, but I want it to be able to swing around here so I can get the camera set up. I have my bow in hand and I'm following this trail and I can see my camera and the deer as I'm going. So this is the setup I want. So if the trail is in front of me, you want my tree in front of me here and I can just follow that deer right on out, have a little bit of protection around me here If I have a deer that's coming in behind me, I just throw the, uh, the strap over my shoulder. I'm able to follow that deer around, have the setup like this. I can pull around, grab my bow off of my bow hanger, come around, still have the setup for the shot, have everything to where I can just maneuver it back and forth to get that shot. Bring it in close to me, however it may be to get that shot on that deer. That's kind of why you want this arm at that height right there. Keep it close to your body so you can move this camera arm and camera with ease without having a lot of movement in the tree stand. That's why I love this stiff arm from Fourth Arrow and I will link all this stuff in the description in the bottom for you to be able to uh, see that and pull those things up and see what we use for our solo hunts. But all this stuff is what, what we love to use to make, make it happen, make it easy for you to be able to self film, whether you're a pro or whether you're just somebody that wants you to just capture your videos for your family and, be able to see down the road just be able to enjoy 
because that's what it's about. What we would plan for the trail to be in front of us, be able to just video from here, be able to just grab my bow, just come up and around. And just have that set up to where I have it right in here to where I can get that shot, get right on it. That's whether you are using a crossbow, compound, recurve, or rifle for saddle hunting. I get a lot of questions about what is my go-to piece in my bag. And I would say that this right here, this strap hanger is my go-to piece. It's the first thing I pull out of my bag when I get in the stand, wrap around the tree, set my bow on, my bag on, my jacket on, to get everything set up and have right there perfect access. So here is my go-to piece, first piece out of my bag. And what's your second piece? My second piece, other than this piece, is my Christmas tree cakes. Hopefully that answered some questions for you about uh, solo self-filming hunts. And uh, if you uh, have any questions, please comment, leave a review. So... Thanks for watching.